Vicky, back with your hands behind your back. Bend over and see if you can touch the... She did it! I'm a girl! That's right! And you know what girls can do that no boy can do? Have babies? Right. Their hips are pivoted differently than boys. And that's why we had trouble bending over and trying to touch that coin, and you found it so easy. Now you can try it out with your friends. All I need now is your corner, Dr. Zed. <laughs> Do you know how to bounce it? I'm nuts. It doesn't work. <laughs> I know why it sticks, because of the balance and the friction. I'm going to show you a couple of uh, human body tricks. Do you think you can get up from a chair? Yeah, I think I can Well, help sit up. down and we'll see. Now, with your pinky, you just put it right in the center of his forehead and press on it. Okay, get up. Get up, get up, get up. You can't get up, can you? Yeah. Isn't that amazing, really? That's because your center of gravity is right at your seat. Just get up gradually. Just get up very slowly. See how you move now? The center of gravity is just right on your feet. Unless you can move like that, you're stuck there. <laughs> no matter how big you are, wouldn't it be funny to see a big wrestler sitting there and a little girl come up and hold it <laughs> like that? But that would happen. Now it's your turn. We're going to hold you down with Dr. Zed's red thread of dread. Now, grab this end, right over your mouth, right over your mouth like that, and just press down on it. Now, try and get up, hard as you can. You can't do it. And just see how easily it breaks. There's so many nerves you know, and blood vessels in that area that they feel very sensitive. You know, if you ever hurt your lip at all, how sensitive it is, so that when you try and get up and press against, the pain is so much, so intense, that you wouldn't, you just can't do it. So isn't that amazing <laughs> how that little bit can do that? When we decided to find out how water spiders float on top of the water, we placed some aluminum foil on top and it stayed afloat because of surface tension. If you would push it, it would break probably the surface tension. And yeah, it sinks. It sinks. Yeah. Now, this glass, feel this glass, David. Just feel, does it feel warm? Try it, Jennifer, and just feel nice and warm to you. Now, what we're going to do is to put some of this food coloring in here and then see what happens when we put it in. Now, just watch what happens. See how quickly it spreads around in there? Now, that's because when we put the food coloring, the molecules in there are moving around quickly and make it all look the same. Now, let's try the same thing with cold water and see what happens. Just feel, feel that, feel nice, nice and cold. And yeah, water, all right. And watch what happens when we do it this time. So I just put it on here, continue, and give it a little squeeze. See how slowly it moves? That's because the molecules in cold water are not moving around so much. So we say that with hot water, uh, the food coloring diffuses. It moves around quickly. But with cold water, it doesn't. Now, we have a way of showing that. It's sort of interesting. We'll take this bottle. And this one has hot water in it. Now, we're going to put some food coloring in there this time. And we'll see what happens. Ready? Look at it go. We're going to put this cold one on top. Just feel and make sure that's good and cold. That feel nice and cold? All right. So we're going to put this on top. I'll just put my hand like this, just so I can get whoops there. I'm just going to get it to sit there, see if it'll rest there, and watch what happens now. Sort of looks like smoke from a chimney, doesn't it? And 
way it comes up. And this hot water is less dense than the cold water, and that's why it moves up into it. Now, into this, into this container, we're going to put some milk. Let's get the milk in here. Did you pick your color, the food coloring? Put some, okay, drops all over. Come on right over and get the drops right in here, all over the different parts. But Drop there, drop here. Put the lids back on. And now, watch what happens when we put a drop of detergent. A little drop here. Whoa. Isn't that amazing? When the detergent hits the water, it shoots all over the surface of the water, and then it hits the little fat globules in the milk. You know, milk has fat in it. And it shoots it out, and you can see the beautiful patterns it makes. It's so beautiful. Looks like a rainbow. It looks like a wonderful design. So, guys, you think you're pretty strong, huh? Yeah. Okay, I think you can pull this bag out of the jar. The reason why you can't pull the bag out is because the air pressure is holding it in there really tight. I got it, I got it. Is it gonna explode? <laughs> so now we have a super challenge for you. All you have to do is hold these papers up apart 